In this video, we'll look at how to use AppNeta monitoring policies to automate monitoring in large-scale environments without the need to create and maintain complex deployment scripts. Imagine you are a network administrator for a user base of 8,000 people located all over the world. Every week, anywhere from 1 to 50 employees join or leave the company. Using monitoring policies, you can configure monitoring once and have every new workstation monitoring automatically according to the policies they match. This saves time every week that can be put back into other responsibilities. A monitoring policy defines the target network or application to monitor with AppNeta, which monitoring points to monitor from, and how monitoring should be conducted. Dynamic rules can be added to automatically monitor from monitoring points that meet particular criteria, such as the type of monitoring point, the network it is connected to, or its geographic location. Let's take a look at a couple common use cases. If your user base splits their time between the office and working remotely, you likely need to monitor internet connectivity from every workstation. In this scenario, you could create a monitoring policy to automatically monitor the connection to an AppNeta global monitoring target from every workstation monitoring point. And monitoring would then start automatically from each new workstation as the monitoring point connects to AppNeta without the need to come back and add new monitoring points to the policy. In another example, a large enterprise has hundreds of sites, each with multiple egress networks. In this scenario, you could use network rules to specify which networks to monitor from. A common scenario is to automatically monitor a particular application only from the perspective of the relevant end users. You could assign custom tags to each monitoring point to identify them by business context, such as department. Then, use the tag in a policy rule to monitor applications only from monitoring points deployed alongside the people who rely on those applications. Let's take a peek into a demo environment to see how it all works. Performance monitoring with AppNeta is all about measuring the performance between two endpoints. There's what you want to monitor, like a business-critical application, and where you want to monitor from, such as from the perspective of the application users. The Monitoring Points page is for adding and managing the monitoring points installed in the locations you want to monitor from. And the Monitoring Policies page is for defining what should be monitored and from where, along with some preferences for how to monitor. When you add a new monitoring policy, the first step is to give the policy a name. The policy is specific to a single target, so think of the policy name as a friendly name for the target, which is especially useful when the target is an anonymous IP address. Then, in the target field, enter the fully qualified domain name or IP address for the network target or application. Monitoring is enabled by default, but can be optionally disabled. For example, a network admin might want to temporarily disable monitoring in a policy while the target undergoes maintenance. Optionally, assign custom tags to a monitoring policy to provide additional context about the monitored target. Tags are name value pairs that help users categorize, sort, and filter monitoring data. Each custom tag added to the policy is inherited by all paths created by the policy. Under the advanced settings, the optional policy description is helpful to add additional context to the policy list page. The data deletion option lets us define whether to delete paths and historical data when monitoring points no longer match the policy rules. If data deletion is off, existing paths stop monitoring when a monitoring point no longer matches the policy rules. The path status changes to failed and historical data is maintained for the life of the policy, subject to the standard data retention period. If data deletion is turned on, existing paths and historical data are deleted when a monitoring point does not match the policy rules for at least seven days. Optionally add a policy group to associate the new monitoring policy with other related policies. Optionally, add a geographic location for the monitored target. 
Paths with a target location are displayed in geographic map views and dashboards, such as the current network violation map. I'll come back to this next setting in a minute. In the Monitoring Points section, add rules to define which monitoring points should monitor the target and from which egress network. To define the set of monitoring points to monitor from, add tags such as monitoring point type, a custom monitoring point tag, or a geographic location tag. Any monitoring points that meet these rules will automatically start monitoring the target when the policy is saved. Policies do not restrict the number of monitoring points that can be included. A policy will support as many monitoring points as are supported by your AppNeta organization. Monitoring will occur over the default network unless a network rule is added. If the monitoring points should monitor from a specific egress network, add a corresponding network rule to specify the particular subnet, VLAN ID, the connection type, such as wired or wireless, or the interface name to monitor from. By default, policy tags are automatically generated for network rules. And you can add tags to provide additional custom context about the source network. These tags are then assigned to the network paths monitored from the selected egress network. Network rule tags are also included as part of the network path name. Remember the advanced setting we skipped earlier? If you don't want the policy to automatically generate tags for network rules, clear the auto-generate option in the advanced settings. One of each type of network rule can be added to a monitoring point rule. Click the plus button to add additional network rules. A path will be created for this monitoring point rule only if all network rules apply. Multiple monitoring point rules can be included in a policy. Click the plus button to add an additional rule. For example, if a collection of monitoring points have a consistent setup, we could add another rule to monitor over a second egress network. In this example policy, the target will be monitored separately across both networks. Let's preview the policy. In this example, there are more paths than monitoring points because some monitoring points will monitor the target from more than one network. The Monitoring Preferences section includes all the settings to specify how the target should be monitored. The alert profile is used to define which metrics to use as performance indicators for monitored targets and the threshold when performance should be considered poor. In most cases, the default profile is sufficient to start, but custom alert profiles can be created in advance on the Manage Alert Profiles page. By default, the same alert profile is used 24 hours a day. But in some scenarios, you may need to turn off alerting outside certain hours. For example, outside of business hours in the monitoring point time zone. A custom time range can be created in advance on the Manage Time Ranges page. The default network settings work in most scenarios, but let's take a look at the effect of changing each setting. If the target is another AppNeta monitoring point, select Dual-Ended Monitoring to monitor outbound and inbound network performance independently. Optionally, change the UDP source port if required. A custom source port is typically used to monitor networks where ECMP or other multi-path technology is used. By changing the source port, you can influence which path is monitored by the policy. Similar to tags, the network path group provides a way to filter and summarize monitoring data in different views within AppNeta. However, unlike tags, a policy can be assigned only one network path group. A key purpose for assigning a group in addition to tags is for use in certain areas of AppNeta where tags are not yet supported for filtering. New network path groups can be created in advance from the Manage Groups page. In most cases, the default network type is appropriate. Monitoring a wide area network target consumes 1 15th of a license from every monitoring point included in the policy. In the rare case a target is on the LAN, the network type can be changed from the picklist. But if AppNeta detects that the target is four or more layer three hops away from a monitoring point, with 5 milliseconds or higher latency, the network type for a path will automatically change back to the default. Importance is a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 indicates the most important targets. 
Importance is used in certain areas of AppNeta, such as the Network Violation Summary Dashboard, to visualize important monitoring data more prominently. Importance can also be used for filtering purposes throughout the application and is especially useful for filtering in email notifications and scheduled reports. Target type determines whether the target should be monitored for data or voice performance and influences the size of test packets used for monitoring. The default target type is suitable for most monitoring scenarios. It ensures the monitoring point sends the target both larger packets to monitor data performance and smaller packets to monitor voice performance. In some scenarios, admins may choose to select one of the voice-only options to avoid sending large packets over voice circuits. To accurately emulate your production voice traffic, select the appropriate VoIP codec. The selected codec will control the size and spacing of packets generated by the monitoring point to emulate voice traffic. Optionally, change the target ports for TCP and UDP trace routes, for example to view routes to a network target that requires a connection on a specific port. If the monitored network uses QoS to prioritize traffic, select the appropriate QoS marking to apply to test packets. Custom QoS templates can be defined on the Manage Path QoS Templates page. Next, let's preview the policy and review any changes. Then, click the Update button to save the policy and start monitoring. There may be scenarios where a network admin would want to override certain monitoring preferences for some paths within a policy. For example, if a monitored application or network performs poorly from a particular set of monitoring points, the admin may need to temporarily relax alerting or remove alerting entirely from those paths while the issue is addressed. The admin could head to the Network Paths page to override the alert profile for the required paths. To override a policy setting, select the required Network Paths. Then from the Action menu, select Path Overrides. Choose an override type then select the required values for each option. Click Preview to review the changes, then Confirm to apply the change. Paths with overrides are flagged in the list. To later find all paths with overrides, filter the path list to show only paths with overrides equals true. If the policy is edited, any path overrides are maintained when the policy is saved. To reset all paths to the policy settings, head to the Monitoring Policies page, find the policy in the list, and then reset overrides for the policy. And with that, we've wrapped up our look at how to define monitoring policies to automatically manage large-scale monitoring in AppNeta. Thanks for watching.